Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Xiong. Wall Street Journal reported last week that according to federal data, the Delta variant has become the most dominant strain of COVID-19 circulating in the U.S. It spreads fast as communities begin to loosen up pandemic restrictions. There are three variants in the U.S. Alpha, Delta, Gamma. Alpha variants had been dominant in the U.S. since March, but has dropped to less than 29% of COVID-19 infections in the two weeks and the July 3rd. During the same period, the Delta variant made up close to 52% of COVID-19 infections, according to CDC data. Gamma variant has now dropped rapidly and made up less than 9% of infections in the U.S. Public health officials and experts had warned that Delta variant would likely account for at least half of infections by early to mid-July, and they were right. The bad news is that the Delta variant is estimated to be 50% more transmissible than the Alpha variant and more likely to cause severe diseases in unvaccinated people. Even in vaccinated people, the Delta variant is also capable to cause infections. However, such infections might not be severe and not require hospitalization. Mike Ryan is the chief of health emergencies at the World Health Organization. He said, this particular Delta variant is faster, it is fitter, it will pick off the more vulnerable more efficiently than previous variants. According to Wall Street Journal's report, in the Midwest and the South, where vaccination rates are low and mask wearing are not common as in other parts of the country, the Delta variant is spreading faster. In Missouri, even hospitals are treating fewer patients than during past surges, but they are treating younger patients. And the Delta variant is behind it. According to CDC data, the Delta variant accounts for more than 80% of positive tests in a region that includes Missouri, Iowa, Kansas, and Nebraska. The good news is that COVID-19 vaccines available in the U.S. can protect against the Delta variant. The WHO has been urging wealthy nations to donate doses. Biden administration pledged to send 55 million vaccine doses through COVAX. This is the WHO-backed immunization program to help poorer nations. Health experts say warm weather is helping to keep new cases down, but it could pick up in fall and winter. The CDC so far is sticking to the same guidance as in May. Fully vaccinated people don't need to wear masks indoors. Wall Street Journal also reports that some hospitals began to require health workers to be vaccinated. The mandate has been met with employee resistance. More than 10 hospital systems have announced the policy that they will require shots, saying that its staff must have at least one dose by September 1st. Yet the health sector, which employs 5 million Americans, is divided. According to the most recent federal data from U.S. hospitals' voluntary reporting figures, thousands of workers remained unvaccinated by June 25th. Some say they do not trust public information about the vaccine. Others say they voluntarily got shots but resist to a mandate by hospital. More than 100 employees at Houston Methodist Hospital even sued the hospital system over vaccine mandate. A federal judge sided with hospital which fired some employees who refused to be vaccinated and some others resigned. Based on the federal data from consulting firm, firm El Tarum, hospital employment has not rebounded to its pre-pandemic high last year, but the urgent care and other outpatient center hiring has surpassed the peak. Some of the largest U.S. hospital systems do not require mandated vaccinations, including Tenet Healthcare, HCA Healthcare. The companies say they encourage workers to seek vaccination and enforce infection control measures at work. Some hospitals said they only require vaccinations after shots get full approval from FDA. So far, all vaccine authorizations are for emergency use. 
Why are so many people refuse to take the COVID vaccine? Kaiser Family Foundation conducted a study early this year and found that 27% of the public would probably or definitely refuse the COVID vaccine. Last September, this number was 34%. The doubt is particularly high among black Americans. 35% said they would likely refuse the vaccine. Almost half of black adults surveyed said they wouldn't get the vaccine because they don't trust vaccines, or they are worried that they may get the virus from the vaccine. According to the CDC, you cannot get sick from the coronavirus vaccines due to their design. About half of black adults surveyed also said they were concerned that the studies and the trials are not focused enough on the health of black people. One black nurse at Henry Ford Health System told the Detroit Free Press the reason that she declined the vaccine is that she didn't want to be somebody's science experiment. According to a poll from Pew Research Center, 21% of respondents who don't intend to get the vaccine are pretty certain they won't change their minds in the future. There was also political divide. Republicans said they were less likely to get vaccinated, with 42 probably or definitely refusing the vaccine. The main reasons include side effects, a lack of trust in the government to ensure the safety and effectiveness concerns over the speed the vaccine was developed. They also concern over role politics had to play in the development. Some people believe they might already have antibodies because they were already exposed to the virus. Men are much less likely than women to get vaccinated. Based on data collected by the Sex, Gender, and the COVID-19 Project at the University College London, men are 10% less than women to get vaccinated. As of mid-May 2021, 38.5% of adult U.S. men has been vaccinated against the coronavirus, while 43.3% of women have received their vaccination. One reason may be women live longer. Most people over the age of 65 in the U.S. are women, and so are most people in healthcare, service industry, and teaching jobs, which were also a priority for vaccination. Ideals of masculinity have long been also in play. In the 2019-2020 influenza vaccination season, 52% of U.S. women were vaccinated for the flu, while only 44% of men got their shot. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I'll see you again shortly.